Hey guys, what's up? It's Dorky Revolution, and on most seasons of the challenge, there are costume slash Halloween parties. I mean, it's pretty much a tradition at this point for at least one party per season to have some sort of costume element. A costume party is a definite. It's going to happen every time. And if you don't bring a costume, you're going to end up wearing some weird ass lamp or something like that around the house all night. You're going to be dressed up as furniture. It's just always fun to see what the challengers dress up as and how crazy the parties get. I will say this list was super hard for me to make. I'm only doing five and I spent the whole day just going back and forth and back and forth. So if your favorite is missing, trust me, it was considered. Also, no spinoffs like All Stars, which was the hardest one for me to omit. I'm factoring in everything, the costumes, the entertainment, everything. It might fit my personality perfectly because I'm crazy. <laughs> And also, yes, I have to give a shout out to TJ's final costume on All Stars. It left me speechless the first time I watched it. So happy Halloween and let's begin. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the money and run, TJ. This is the game! First up, we have the Fresh Meat One Costume Party Extravaganza. We need a little spice around the house, so it's decided that we're going to have a costume extravaganza. The segment on the show was very short, but you could just tell the cast was genuinely having a good time. Everyone was getting along, and looking back, it's just really refreshing to see. There isn't really much more to say, but the best costume, I agree with Shane, it's Katie and Eric as a hillbilly couple. I really like when people tag team costumes, and this one was just really funny, and they leaned into it very very well. My most favorite costume would be Katie and Big Easy as this hillbilly couple. I miss you. Oh my God. <laughs> the worst costume is probably Evan. Even though it's not bad at all, everyone was just so great here and Evan took his off before anyone, so that took points off. But all in all, this was just a very basic and fun Halloween party. The winner of whatever costume competition that anyone has between now and the end of the world, Tanya, the night before, she was wearing that exact same costume, except for we were not at a costume party. Next up, we have the free agents costume party. We have a costume party and little did I know to bring a costume to a foreign country to compete in an athletic competition. This and the fresh meat one are extremely, extremely similar. Devin even made the same joke Coral made about Tanya, but for Jasmine. You have Anissa, who's low Kim. You have me, who's Nicki Minaj. You have Jasmine, who's a slutty student. Yeah. I think she really just pulled that costume from her everyday wardrobe. I think I'm ranking this one higher because it's a season I enjoy more and maybe more recency bias, but this was a very fun party that you can tell everyone loved. For the best costume, you're all never going to agree with me, but I love it when Bananas dresses up as a banana. So he has my favorite costume. Johnny is a banana. Imagine that. And for the worst, we have Zach. Dressing in underwear isn't a costume unless he's dressed as a baby, which would fit him really well. Maybe he's number one if that's what he was going for. Again, just plain simple party. For number three, we have the War of the Worlds one costume party, and this one had it all. Good costumes and good drama, which if you think about it, isn't much. But anyways, this is a costume party where I felt no one was really having a great time, which I blame on how cutthroat this season was, but that really doesn't take away Away from it. No, it actually gave us a memorable fight in which Kyle threatened Georgia to keep him safe and Polly was trying to show off for Kara by getting in Kyle's face, which caused a whole big war with production getting involved. It's just classic waiting for security to arrive before doing anything, and I just find it so funny when Polly says that he wants to get into other guys' faces for Kara. It's just not healthy. If you vote for me to stay and he doesn't, that's fair enough. If you don't save me this time, next season I'll come for you. If you don't pick me tomorrow, I'll come for you next season. Of course I will. Car Maria, she likes when I get a little hot-headed. She likes when I get in other guys' faces. So I think I'm about to show Kyle a little bit more about how much she's not still in love with him. But you don't worry about it. You can say his name. He ain't gonna Shut up, bitch. Your girlfriend's still in love with you. Shut up, Kara was really acting like Polly was going to actually kill Kyle. Everyone was in the wrong here, honestly, but it, it was just super entertaining. The best costume is, even though we barely saw it, Zahida looked amazing, and I don't even know what she was, but 
look. And also, George's Harley Quinn was great and spot on. The worst costume was Gus being an annoying person, which we would later just come to find out was him being himself. With this being a costume party, this is kind of the wrong time to have a fight because Kyle has on a skirt, and I'm not even sure if he had underwear on under there, so we don't know what the hell is going to come flying out. Next up, we have the 80s themed costume party from Double Agents. Tonight, we have an 80s themed party. I'm kind of channeling my inner Sheila E. Got a little flash dance. They did a great job editing this one, and that is saying a lot considering how the editing is usually as of recent. They really highlighted this party and everyone's costumes with some banger music. Not everyone knew how to dress for the 80s though. Fessy. I don't know if Fessy knows what an 80s party is supposed to be. I mean, he has a tutu on. He just doesn't get it. And also, don't do a double take. We saw Casey's hair. Again, you can just tell at the start of the party, everyone was having the best time. I never see CT get into parties quite like this one. Until Fessy. Ugh, Fessy. Fessy started giving backhanded compliments to CT, basically like, you were the man back in the day, but I'm the better species. Or somehow saying his wins don't count because he wasn't there. I knew it was different back then. Y'all didn't play for a million dollars. The competition wasn't the same. I'm not trying to disrespect you right now. Just saying, coming for the crown. Made a best man win. I think I'm the best man. I'm coming for that top spot, CC. Oh, I won two in the last five years. If it's hiking in three feet deep snow again, it's an even playing field. But if we have to run, it's a wrap. What are you talking about? A <laughs> wrap, bro. Yeah, you guys are done. Fessy doesn't know that CT, A, whoop his ass. B, CT is a way better player in this game. And C, CT will whoop his ass. Fessy, you can say all you want that you had good intentions with this conversation, but it did not come off that way. If you see CT take off his wig, I'm running no questions. Honestly, you do not want to see old CT come out for reasons you will see in a minute. You can't flex on me. You're the tutu. You're supposed to be the goat. They're going to see you like this. Hey, Why are you getting worked up, bro? It's 2005, bro. Come on. Come on. You know the fight is getting serious when CT rips off his wig. It is game over from that point on. Hide oh. behind the girl in your tutu and your leg warmers. This definitely is reminding me of old CT. We're having a good time and they're being fun sponges. This conversation started off as me trying to give CT a compliment and he thought I was coming for his neck and you could tell he's a little paranoid in this game and he's threatened by Congratulations. But now moving on to the best costume, we have Corey. That hair is magnificent. <laughs> And worst again, Bessie, he just didn't get it. Now, this was probably obvious, but for number one, we have the dual two Kim's birthday costume party. Everyone's dressing up because it's Kim's birthday party and we just want to get nuts and just rage. There are two sections to this party. The first is everyone, and I mean everyone, dressing up with unique costumes. These are by far the best and most creative costumes any challenge party has ever had. I mean, look at Evans. Who does that? No reason to get dressed up and act like an idiot more so than a birthday party. I decided to be Pocahontas. It was an amazing costume, not obviously slutty at all. This was a really fun party where nothing went wrong until, you know, I've talked about this so much, it's kind of becoming second nature, but to keep it short, CT attempted to murder Adam for going behind his back, resulting in literally the biggest challenge fight in history. They both got kicked out and it, it was just brutal. He won the fight. I win every fight. You want him to die? You kidding me? Yeah. I was smart. I wish they showed more of the fun party, but the bits they did show were enough. For the best costume, we have Adam dressing up as an attempted murder victim. He risked his life so that costume looked legit. And for the worst, we have Derek as Gus from Floor Bama Shore and War of the Worlds 1. Also, remember how I said Kara was acting like Polly was going to kill Kyle? Here is DM who had legitimate fear about CT killing Adam. Oh to see him because I know if I see him, he won't do anything. Also, this wasn't shown on any episode, but I need to give a shout out to Susie's TJ Lavin costume from the Inferno 3. It's spot on. I just had to mention it. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little Halloween special. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Social media links are in the description. Happy Halloween, and until next time, take care.